Hi guys, hope everybody is having an amazing day. So today my friend and me, we are going for a market to get fish. And this is going to be a chef today. And we are going to... He's a great uh, cook by the way. He has uh, traveled all over like five countries till now. And he's a good, good chef. And I have tasted this food. And I'm going to show you how, how uh, delicious it is. Say hi to my friend. Hi guys. Watch it to the end and I'm going to show you the road. It's early morning in Goa, so you can have a look. It's really rainy day today, so we're going to head to the market and buy some yummy fishes. So this is from Miramar, so we are going to Talegaon now. Talegaon, the big market of Goa. So this is a small fish market. So you see. Due to rain. Yeah, so we're gonna I don't think the boat has arrived so many fish. So yes, like to see one mama is selling some fish. See, see look at this fishes. Oh the snails and the fishes, small fishes. No, we didn't find the fish which is very good. We're really looking for the fresh fish. We don't want frozen fish which will spoil the taste as well. It is very much important while cooking fish. The first thing is some safety tips also I wanted to share with you. What? Fish, fish is authentic food of Goa, even though sometimes the people who sell in the rainy season only frozen fish. Okay, to make this fish alive, you know, fresh, fresh, very much fresh, people add some chemicals and uh, what you call it, ice and you know, they will frozen it. And the preserve it. The major thing is, in case if you use frozen fish, it will spoil your hand and it will not be so tasty as have uh, fresh fish uh, with more taste. protein and uh, yes, protein as well. You know, when the fresh fish is very fresh, it will be really, really, really you know, tasty as well as good for us. And we should see the disadvantages as well, like if the fresh fish is not available, we should not try the frozen one and spoil our health and taste. And this is one of the safety things while cooking fish or eating fish. And you should be you know, very careful choosing fish for the market. So I remember you cooking food in uh, Maroni and uh, Malaysia. So I have seen him first time that he was cooking roti and it was very difficult difficult for us to cook roti there. <laughs> I remember like we used to take uh, one uh, so half not to take one, make one roti and it used to be a big roti like not even Indian map. It was some <laughs> some some map in the world. Anyway, the country was Maroni and Comoros yeah. Thailand. Beautiful island, uh, which is in the uh, East part, East, East part Eastern of Africa, yeah. and which falls under Indian Ocean itself. Yeah. 
very very beautiful place Amazing. but you know you will feel uh, the country itself like the uh, vintage is yeah. you can see everything black and white combination I'm not talking about the people I'm talking about the place lockdown and you were in lockdown and how did it treat you lockdown similar to any other place in, similar to any other place in yeah. india lockdown in india and <clears throat> the thing is people are very much matured they were following safety precautions as masks and keeping social distance and you know all the essential products are available at the particular time and government was as as everywhere the precautions were you know uh, lockdown lockdown things you know lockdown rules how the government imposed so similar way even in goa and uh, we enjoyed much in uh, lockdown as well Fall for you. 
<laughs> falling in the sunset. <laughs> yeah, anyways. <laughs> falling. Falling, is, falling is a very big word. I'm a common man. I talk uh, yeah, yeah. a little about this place. I love to introduce the people who so you can went with the dead. Yeah. Yeah. Only after COVID. Uh, COVID yeah, in lockdown. lockdown. See the king, see the king here. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? So he didn't still he didn't find the fish. We still didn't search. You didn't touch it. Left foot. Left foot. Huh? It's not good enough. Medium. Yeah, get left. So what we do is we buy fish from there and we'll keep killing and cleaning for another place. So we are searching of uh, cleaning. So We'll find it and get it clean up, fish get it clean.
Bon. So finally we got a fish here. Taylor. Going back home now and we start cooking. <laughs> A lot of uh, cultural activities happening in every festival. <coughs> so you have uh, drama classes and drama Miramar studios, Miramar. and so this way goes to Miramar too. And Donapal. Yeah, and uh, it's connected. Of, lot of sports and cultural activities happens here, and the sports authority as well as cultural organizations. Okay, headquarters of Goa, uh, you know, in, in the same road, uh, which you can tell, you know, one, one which you can like, for example, there is a forest department, uh, Kampal uh, Park is here, and after that, followed by, there are many auditoriums and uh, playing grounds to promote social and cultural activities. happen you here as well. So we're going to arrive to Miramar Beach. Chicks are good in the Miramar Beach. And uh, 
<laughs> so this is the beach you can see. Just cross around in this walk. So our house is close by here. It's just like 200 meters from the beach. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start with salt. One spoon of salt. Ginger garlic paste, one spoon of ginger garlic paste. Pepper powder. Half spoon of uh, turmeric powder. Garam masala. So let's start squeezing lemon in this. And what we're gonna do is, little we're gonna give a beefy style uh, thing taste in it. So we're gonna add uh, tamarind uh, water in this. So it gives a blend flavor in this. So we'll add little more of uh, paprika, red chilli. Garlic paste. Little bit, like three or four cloves of uh, garlic paste. And we're gonna make this very well. So let's start marinating this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this in refrigerator deep freeze say for uh, 15 minutes and leave it over. So our fish is ready. We'll put it in rava. So we add oil. We're gonna place this in a pan and fry this for 15 minutes. We'll flip this over. You see it's becoming brown. So we have to make it a little crispy and then we're gonna have to we'll see how good it is. So now it's ready, we're going to take this and taste it. 